The appointment of the, of the service chiefs came with that of a new national security advisor, NSC, for the country. President Bola Tinobu upgraded Nuri Badu from special advisor on security to national security advisor. Babajide Koladi Toju and Adiwali Adiyu also saw this coming in our discussion last Friday when they said he's qualified to be so appointed. Let's get the moment for you. From this list of uh, men and women, I think it's a, it's a good team, it's a sound team. You know, it covers the critical areas. Having Ribadu as uh, special advisor on security, I think it's a very good thing because some people have been talking about national security advisor. And uh, there are observations that will generate us, you know, like to listen to somebody who's a policeman, former policeman. Not that it's not competent, but looking at the tradition, national security advisor, people will respect, you know, people from the military. Uh, so Ribadu, breaking tradition. You know, security, ad uh, a special advisor on security, mm. mostly written with, uh, you know, civil matters. And I think, He's a credible person. His father was actually the first minister of defense, yeah, you know, in, the in Nigeria. Republic. And yeah. I think he has kept his head above the, you know, the stormy waters, you know, from this record from the EFCC. And I believe you also assist the government when you are talking about fighting corruption, you mm. know, giving his experience. So I think it's a good thing. These people, in my view, are just the transitional ministers. Yeah. We are going to see in the fullness of time that... A good number the of real them deal. will transit from this position to ministers of the Federal Republic. Special advisors are of cabinet rank. So that's to tell you how important they are. And they are, the, the importance of these special advisors cannot be brushed aside. People have said that, look, the best thing is to find a general for the position of uh, national security advisor. It's up to Ashwaju what he wants to do. Mm. Um, no Ribadu left as an AIG, you know, within the uh, police uh, hierarchy, and an AIG is a general. Yeah. So I believe that he is qualified to do the job. I very much believe that he's qualified to do if If civilians can be defense minister, why should anyone think that somebody who rose to the top in the police, yeah. one of the best investigators, you know, one of the best crime busters cannot do the job of, uh, because the NSA, it's not as if the NSA will go into the bush with service chiefs and other people, yeah. you know, he is supposed to coordinate. The, the, the NSA, the office coordinate, is the clearing house. Yes, coordinate yeah. these people, bring them together, get the best out of them, but we politicize everything. So now people are saying, oh, we generals uh, take instruction. Generals, they are out of office. Demands that they should subordinate themselves to the civil populace. If I'm president, I'm a civilian. You can't say because I've not seen the four walls of an army barrack that you will not mm. disobey me. I will fire you. Yes, because you have I will send you parking. So that is an argument that we shouldn't even get into. The CNC would take the decision. He's eminently qualified for all of those positions. Yeah. And if he says, okay, it's NSA that I want you, nobody, there's no way it is written in the Constitution that the person to take the job of the NSA must be a retired army general or must no, be a retired no, no, air force. No, 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 no. no. No, there's no, there's no such thing in our laws. No, Ribadu, the hitherto mm. special advisor of security mm. matters, mm. was now named transitional, transitional special advisor. Mm. Now the national security advisor, NSA, um, actually replacing General Muguno. Mm. Yes, that used to be there. No. A very strategic position like a coordinating room for the security chiefs. Julie, how strategic is this position? Yes, it's very strategic. And uh, you know, for years, even the management of um, our war efforts um, has always been, has always rested on the NSA. So as you need someone that he trusts absolutely in terms of his honesty, 
so that some of the fraud that had always happened in respect of that office, that office will is, come to an end. You know, you can trust no with money. And trust, I don't know other things that you can trust him with, but I know you can trust him with money. Yes, sir. You will not allow people to steal. Mm. You will not allow it. You would rather die than allow it. The first man that I saw that went to go and collect receipt from CBN after lodging $15 million. <laughs> and he filmed, he filmed the money. <laughs> $15 million. He filmed it, so you can't say that. He went to go and go and lodge it. Yes, he lodged it. Let he sent the money back. Pastor just said he did for yesterday. <laughs> it was supposed to be a bribe. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be a bribe. That kind of bribe. A, a life-changing life life bribe. Life bribe. Me, um, yes. Dollars. Dollars. So he said, no, no, no. He did the right thing. So uh, his job is well cut out. And I'm happy that the president, again, did what is right. Uh, because, look, uh, it's, it's, it's within his power to decide who should be NSA. And the services must uh, respect the person that he has chosen. Otherwise, the president knows what to do. Show you that was the point that I made. <laughs> yeah. I can't be commander in chief, and I told you report to this person, and you say no you because he was not a soldier. Where was it written that you must be a soldier to be NSC? There's no way it's written in our laws. There's no way it's written, and I knew from the beginning. In fact, there was a, a, a little argument that we had on um, an, a friend's wall, that filler, and I said, look, well, a new NSC has emerged. Don't deceive yourself. I you, you we never, at the time when he's trying to uh, be, be very frugal, allow NSA and, uh, and a personal security advisor. No, he would not do that. He would rather have one. And he had the choice to go for one, and he went for, uh, for no rebadu. So they must work with him. All of the people say, um, oh, um, I will never, it's not a general, it will not work. And Let you know, remember we said it last week that not, none of these old guys lobbying around, staying around as Shuaju must return as uh, this uh, advisors. It's even a good thing that you've taken me there. Mm. As Shuaju so far has chosen four women. Mm. He said that he's going to um, give women and youth. And youth. Yes. So we want to see him honor his word. Mm. Youth, let them play a prominent role in your, um, cabinet. Uh, your cabinet because they will remember that you made that promise. So mm. youth, women, mm. I think they have started well with those four appointments. There are still uh, a lot of appointments left. So Nuhu has his job uh, cut out for him. Um, he, in a situation of emergency, he retains the coordinating power, you know, I use it as instruments and resources and other means available to coordinate the activities of security services. He briefs the president on the outcomes of operations in liaison with the various constituents of the national security architecture, and he advises the CNC on the next action. On the next uh, action, then he also advises the president on matters concerning intelligence activities and makes recommendations to him on issues of national security. So there are other. Um, roles that he plays, but I know that as somebody who has also passed through the uh, Kuru um, National, National Institute of Policy and Strategy yes, Studies, he knows what it takes to hold this kind of position, and I know that Nu uh, will be up for it, and we've got to thank the President because he's doing unusual things. Not many people not many presidents will agree to do this. He would rather go for those generals. But the president took his decision. This is the person that I want. You must work with him. And I, it makes we go, sense. We have to talk about the tax before the service chiefs. Yes. Because yesterday, day before yesterday, on journalists and guards, we were talking about the killings up north. As you know, May this year, Amnesty International came out with their list again. And we had to cut the president from Slack saying that he took over on the 29th of May. But the killings that is going on around the country on a daily basis is unpardonable. Yes, um, just a quick one on the issue of Eribadu. Um, for students of history, this is not the first time we are having a policeman, retired policeman as NSA. Um, during the Abacha regime, one is my like Guazo. Mm -hmm. Was okay. the national security advisor. Yes, I'm he was. He was the first director of um, SSS and also minister of police. I 
FPS when he retired. He was, uh, that is under the military, not even civilian. Mm -hmm. So that was a retired police officer. And he did his job well. That was also another one I, I, I can remember. So the issue of whether, the fact is that you are as good as the authority given to you by the president. Yes. The president is the commanding officer. Anywhere you he derive your power from. He, 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 that's where you derive your power from. And good enough, while all the side police chiefs we go for confirm, uh, confirmation by the Senate, the national security adviser is not going to face the Senate. He's an appointee of the president, and that is what he, it is. He was so, it's already approved. That, that's what I'm saying. Along with along those, the, uh, SCI, uh, the, the special special adviser. So, so that just so now coming to the while we are welcoming the new service chief. That's something we should not fail to do. We have to commend this last set of service chiefs. Oh, very good. We just have to commend mm. an AY with all sincerity. I am, I, was, I am highly impressed with the chief of army staff, the one that just retired, mm. the chief of naval staff, the chief of air staff. They have made the job easier for the ones coming in. Because at the point at which they took over, there was, there was no way. synergy. There was no synergy. There was no, there there was no coordinated. There was no, even to the extent that the That's NSA had to, yes, the NSA had to go to an uh, Asorok one day and announce that. You said they people, don't listen to me. They don't listen to me. Mm -hmm. They don't listen to me. But under these guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. so guy, you, you can see, see that. You the coordination see that even as led by General Rabo. Yes, from mm. General Rabo to the, mm. uh, the Army Chief to the Naval. So, a grateful country. You know the, so we must thank them. You know, before now, so, some service chiefs who are not even praying in the same mosque. Yes. yes. Imagine, you see, you see, yeah. can you imagine that. Not praying the same so, mosque. Like one one yes. yes. But and they are, and their own staff, their officers are men, who are also similarly you uh, know, they working at cross roads. Yes. yes, they are so, working at cross roads. At the end of the day, what, what, what do we have? So, we didn't make progress. But under this ones, yes. we made some progress that we can point to. People yes. will say, which progress? Go to the Northeast. When was the last time you had that uh, Boko Haram attack? That exactly. Uh, so, so, oh, so, so that's it's it. Just, you know the people who are Boko Haram kids yeah. now? The farmers in their farms, they will go and raid them. Just cut so, people's. They don't even use gun. They will just cut people's neck. Because so, if they hear the sound of a gun, Tukano is going to where the... Really? Ah, we take it. Just, <laughs> so, they are going there to serve justice. Exactly. Very fast. So that's the thing. <laughs> so I, they can't move around. If they move out, the surveillance aircraft will, will see them and they will call in to Canos. And they will clear the place. So and, and also, it's good to have the right weapons. And also, just because. Uh, like, it makes it. Ah, it makes the job they've learned their lessons. So, uh, so just like and I uh, spoke off camera, <laughs> we have been to most of this army formation and some of them. We also have to commend the, the former president. He equipped this military. Yes. He, General, he equipped, must sustain that momentum. He sustained that. He equipped this military. Okay, yes. And I believe that the press. So, all we are going to ask is for let them look President at. President Mohamed Wari. Yes, yes. More President Mohamed Wari. He bought more weapons. He bought, he bought more weapons. So, what we only ask them is that let them look at the handover notes being given them by the outgoing okay. chiefs. We have to leave it there. Consolidate on them. I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution. Mm. And Julie. Thank you for all you do, Thanks. and uh, we wish the new service chiefs yes. the best of luck and the National Security Advisor. And that's our Bates on Journalist Hangout today. Join us for another episode tomorrow on the show. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m. And join us this Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzuba. Bye for now, and God bless Nigeria.